Now let's go outside and do the rest of our cutting. Okay, we're outside. I've got a grinder that I'm going to use. It has a metal cutting blade on it. And I'm going to also put on my eye protection for this. First we're going to cut the rail, um, the rod first, so that we can easily uh, keep it out of the way. Now we're going to cut the rail, and we're going to do it in three cuts. One up the side, one up the other side, and then cut the uh, back of it off. And there we go. Okay, we need to put another hole in the freshly cut rail just like there was before. So I'm going to drill it with a bit. Okay, I made a mark two inches from the end of the rod. That's where this little metal black clip is going to go. So I slide uh, the first slider past that and then I'm going to try to put the clip right at that spot. It may take some time for you to uh, get that down in and press it down the whole way so that it can't slide back and forth. Alright, now after we got that in place we put the uh, plastic slider back on and that sets the limits as far as where that last one can go. After we got that we need to put the end of that rod back in that side and we'll put the cap on. So I slide the cap down there and get the rod in the position here. Now we're ready to screw that in. Put the end cap back into place. It doesn't have to be real pretty on the end here because it's going to get covered when we put it up into the wall. Okay, so we have the little spacer, we have our black clip, that's going to limit how far this can slide out. Now it's time to take this and put it up into the door opening. Okay, these clips are to hold the face guard. It's more of a decorative piece and so we're just going to put it uh, on the top here. Clip those on the top. One on each end and one somewhere near the middle. Now we take our piece up and uh, slide it in those clips that we had mounted and then we just push it and snap it up into place. Now we're going to cut the face guard and the blinds to fit in this opening. Okay, this is the face guard. Remember that we had our opening was 70 and 3 quarters inches. I'm going to measure and make this face guard one quarter inch longer. So I'm going to mark it at 71 inches. I'm going to take my square and mark across there. And then finally a metal snips or some kind of scissors. Being careful not to cut the whole way through so that it doesn't leave a, a ding mark. And then finally cut that off. 
we want to get the vertical blind height, and so I'm going to measure from the highest point on the floor that I need to clear, which in this case is the bamboo down there, up until the rough opening of the drywall, and in this case it's 78 inches. Now I'm going to cut the uh, vertical blind one and seven eighths shorter than 78 inches so that from where it attaches to the clips down to the uh, floor there's a little bit of a gap so that they slide freely. So 78 minus 1 and 7 eighths is 76 and an eighth. So I'm marking 76 and 1 eighth and I'm going to square that. Pull it off the table so my square rests straight. And now I'm going to take the snips and cut through. Don't squeeze the snips so that it closes the whole way through this. It'll create a tear. And so you cut part, move forward, cut another part, move forward, and then cut it off. Now we're going to take this piece, hook it onto the, the uh, sliders and make sure that it fits the whole way across the opening. Take the rounded part and uh, hold it up to the slider. The rounded part should be close to the rod. And slide it up in there, latch it on, and run this across the track making sure that it doesn't slide on the floor as you go. It should be about an eighth of an inch or to a quarter of an inch above the floor the whole way across. Okay, we have the last few I've, we've cut and attached these. I've got these two and one more. Now our final step is to affix this piece, which we've cut to a quarter inch longer than, than the uh, opening width. And so we simply rest it on top here and take those brackets and twist them so that they slide in behind there. And that's it. Here's all the extra slats that we cut off, the leftover portion, and uh, they're excellent for using if you want the kids to have some fun, they can create some uh, beautiful little pieces of art on them and then you could uh, cut holes in those and make some other creative things. So with just a little bit of work you two can save all kinds of money and we save $300 by doing these ourselves and custom, custom cutting and installing them ourselves. Let me know if you thought our video was helpful and uh, we hope the best for you. Mm -hmm.